when you got the chance to get into that coaching field, you played with under Pop, but then to tr make that transition to join the coaching staff, what was that like for you, and how did the relationship even grow even further? Yeah, I, he, he deserves all the credit. He saw something in me. Um, he wanted me to play another year, and if I didn't play another year, he wanted me to join him in some capacity with the Spurs. And um, a special individual still to this day, I lean on him for understanding, for knowledge. And that kind of sabbatical year for me that I was done playing, I wanted to make sure that I was done playing. I wanted to give all my knowledge to whatever person needed it. And uh, Pop let me basically share his office. Uh, I was able to see his routine on a game day, on a shoot around day, in playoffs. Uh, extremely gracious to me uh, and allow me complete access. And, uh, and then my love as a, as a coach continued to grow. And Orlando Magic, they make that phone call that you're going to be their head coach of a rebuilding group. Was there ever a time where is that this is this is really happening? And did you think that would happen so quickly? My mind wasn't wrapped around if or when it was going to happen. I really did approach it as uh, I'm going to do the best that I can every single day as an assistant coach. Uh, and then so happened the opportunity you know, came upon. And I thought it was a great chance for me to dive in, see what happens, you know, test myself, uh, the next phase of my life. Uh, quick turnaround as being an assistant coach in, in, in Spurs land for a long time. Uh, but I relished the challenge that Orlando had to offer. What was the biggest lesson you learned during those years with the Magic? A lot of lessons along the way. Uh, I think it really reinforced the relationship piece uh, with your players, um, how you had to evolve as a coach, uh, and really suit what today's player looks like. I think the biggest part for me is the understanding of being vulnerable as a human being. I was young trying to prove to everyone that I deserved that job, uh, that I deserved to be a head coach, uh, that I was up for the challenge and the task. Uh, but there's so much more to it, not what your out-of-bounds play looks like, what your offense looks like, how does it compare to the other head coaches in the league. But how do you get the locker room to play for you, to play with you? How do you get those guys to respond three times a week when they're tired and frustrated? How do you have conversations with the first guy, the 15th guy? Those are the things that I'm probably better at now, but wouldn't be better at if I hadn't gone through the Orlando experience. When the Brooklyn Nets call you to come join their coaching staff to be the top assistant under Kenny Atkinson, a team where you spent years and your playing years playing at, what stood out about the job and about this organization that made you want to come here? Yes, yeah, so it was great. You know, I had a previous relationship with uh, Sean at the time. And uh, so I got a chance to meet Kenny. He and I were um, under the same roof with Coach Bud that he knew that I coached with and who coached me in Spurs. Uh, so the relationship was, again, two blocks long a little bit. And uh, for me to have the chance to be the lead assistant at that time, and we were trying to reset here as well and uh, had a young group. And so I had learned from Orlando and I thought that I could add some value of uh, what that looks like to be an assistant because I knew as a head coach what I wanted my assistants to be for me. Uh, so it was a great opportunity for me to now lean in to helping Kenny at that time and grow the organization. You had to go through the bubble in Orlando. So much was going on throughout the country with COVID, with the Black Lives Matter movement and social justice. And then you have to walk into that down in Orlando. For you emotionally, can you take me back to kind of how you navigated that and how you were able to mentally get through that time? Yeah, first of all, I'll ever be connected with the group in the bubble. We have such a strong relationship that we can tell stories, we can talk about that time in our lives. Uh, we can always reflect back on that. And that's a positive piece. And we were able to talk about different circumstances and different situations and uh, really share with each other our true feelings, uh, how we felt at that time, have open dialogue. Uh, I think there was some growth amongst a lot of individuals. And then we were able to lean into playing basketball in a contained environment and get through that and really have joy and for one another. And the, the 
relationships from that uh, I'll, I'll forever remember. You were without a lot of your core players, your stars of that, of that team. What did it mean to kind of see you guys rally and make it into the playoffs? Yeah, you know, we had like a little mantra of, a, of, of carrying our bamboo around at that time because we wanted to be flexible and adaptable. We weren't going to uh, complain. We were just going to accept the situation and uh, uh, keep watering our plan and, and moving on. And uh, that water, and we had some growth from individuals as a team, I think as an organization. Uh, the product we put out on the floor, uh, hopefully people were able to wrap their heads around that we were given given our best. And uh, that, team, that team was fun to coach. When the Brooklyn Nets made the decision to hire Steve Nash as head coach, there were a lot of reports and a lot of people thought that you are gonna get opportunity elsewhere because of everything that you were able to do with the organization. What made you want to stay with this team? Yeah, it was a little commitment, you know, you kind of rewind and say, you know, uh, why I stayed at the University of Kansas, uh, because I wanted to finish something. And uh, why would I stay with the Brooklyn Nets? I wanted to finish something. Uh, we've always had the goal of winning a championship. That was what was preached from Sean when I, you know, came as an assistant coach the first year. Uh, I wanted to continue and hopefully add value to the organization, to the relationships that I had to, it, within the organization. So my mind was wrapped around, can this group, can I help and aid in trying to bring a championship to the organization?